Hello, my divine kings and queens. I'm back to do another video. In today's message, God is letting you know and he's telling you that your successes is going to be greater than those struggles that you went through. Your successes will be greater than those struggles that you had to go through. The struggles that you were going through in life are going to be no more. Those struggles that you had to go through in facing and dealing with envious and jealous folk who did not want you to step into what God has for you will be no more. God is saying that he's taking you to the next level of your life and what he's doing for you. It's like you have to look at it. You have to look at it from a spiritual angle, right? What God doing, what, what God is doing for you is, it's like, is he's, 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 your life is about to have like a pinball effect. Follow me what I'm saying on this. Your life is about to have a pinball effect. And what I mean by that is, hold on, let me fix. Hold on, one second. Okay. Your life is about to have a pinball effect. And what I mean by that is there were a lot of people, a lot of jealous people who knew what God was doing for you, right? They, they saw where you were and they saw where you, where you were going. They saw where you used to be. They saw who you were. They saw what you were. And I feel like all along these people knew that you had gifts. All along these people knew that you were destined for greatness. And see, I always tell you about lining people's actions up and, and being around people who match your energy and who is on your level spiritually. And there, there is a reason why I say it. It's not saying that you are you know, holding yourself, God holds you to a higher standard, but it's not saying that you look down at these people. It's just, it's the reason why you have to do it. Because see, if you're hanging around people who don't match your energy and who's not on the same spiritual level as you, one or two things are going to happen. It's going to have a negative effect on you or it's going to take you off the path that God has you on. And so one thing about me, I always tell you guys about this channel. This is a safe haven for people who've gone through some of the same things um, that I've gone through. I'm not preaching to you. I'm trying to inspire you. I'm trying to motivate you. And I'm being transparent. I'm being open with you about the things that I've gone through. And see, the thing is, in order for me to tell you what it is that God doing for you, I have to let you in on what he's done for me. I have to let you in and let you know that I'm not perfect. Just the other day, I, a couple days ago, I went through something. I had somebody disrespect me really bad. Um, you know, just was going through some things and um i had a friend of mine a real close friend of mine that you know came through for me uh flew out to get me and brought me back it was like you need to get, you got to get back to houston like you can't stay out there you gotta get back to houston and um i had the means to come back the person was just trying to be a friend and just be there for me to make sure i kept my head clear and so when y'all y'all look at me and you say you think that you know me but you you really don't you know and that's why i try to open up and be there for you you know the same way that god is there for me i'm trying to be that same way for you and it's like he's showing you and letting you know that your life is about to have a pinball effect there were people who were trying to keep the blessings and the miracles that he had for you that he was trying to bring into your life on back order and what i mean by back order there were people who knew what he was trying to do and they would take these blessings and take these miracles and put them back like had them on pause like trying to make sure that you was delayed, that you was never going to get them. There are a lot of you who was supposed to, where you are currently, you were supposed to already be there in your life. You know what I'm saying? But there were people who were going up against you, people that you didn't know was going up against you. And God is saying that your life is about to have a pinball effect because it's almost as if the same way that these people were trying to hold you back, hold you back, hold you back, hold you back, hold you back. When God came through and released you from these people, what they didn't realize is they was, they was, they was helping the cause. I tell you all the time, let people do what they feel like they're big and bad enough to do because there was a lot of people who didn't even realize how God is about to shut your enemies up. Isn't letting them know that what they did didn't have a negative impact on you. It actually had a positive impact on you. I tell you, thank your haters. Thank your naysayers. Thank those people who went up against you. Thank those people who, who betrayed you because all they did was made you greater. And all it happened was for as long as they was holding you back, when God released you from these people and catapulted you to the next level of your life, you went so far. You, you went places that they never thought that you would go. 
You did things that they never thought that you could do or that you would do. And what's happening is these very same blessings and miracles that they thought they had on back order, that they thought that, that everything that people thought they deprived you of, everything that they thought they had delayed for you, God is taking it. And he says, since you want to do that, it's like, it's like, since you want to do this, you understand what I'm saying? Not only am I about to bring and, and, and they're still going to step into these blessings and miracles, I'm about to give them more than what I was originally going to give them. Because God is saying those successes is going to be greater than those struggles that you went through, my God. Those successes that he's bringing your way, the blessings and the miracles that he is bringing your way, is going to be greater than those struggles. And these very same people are going to have to sit and still yet watch you step up in this, step up in this success, step up in this abundance, step into everything that God has for you. I don't know who I'm speaking to. I don't know for how long you've been delayed, but let me tell you something. You was delayed, sweetheart. You was delayed. You was never denied. You was delayed. You was never denied. And see, one of the things that's happening is you took the time in those struggles to, to, to figure out and get an understanding of yourself, to know your worth. It's almost as if, you know, if, 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 if you get blessed to start on the TV show, originally, they don't pay you what it is that you're worth, right? Because they don't know what, you, what you're capable of, what you're made of. And it's like once you show people that you got those acting chops, now when that season gets renewed, they bring you back and they're paying you double the amount that they was originally going to give you. There are people who are going to have to sit back and watch God do great things in your life. And in part, God is doing it on a whole nother level for you because of how people, how nasty people were to you. That is a nasty and cruel thing to do, to know that someone is blessed, to know that someone is blessed to have a, 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 a blessed life. And you try to go ahead and mess with that spiritual timeline of when it was that they were supposed to get blessed because you hateful and jealous and envious that they're about to step into it and that you're not. There are people who, who, who saw where their life was going to go and they saw where your life was going to go. And there are people who wanted to get rid of the competition. How did they get rid of the competition? They mess with you spiritually. They mess with you mentally. They mess with you physically. They mess with you financially. There are people who did these things because they did not love themselves. Likewise, they wanted to make you feel like, like they didn't want you to love yourself. They didn't want you to think highly of yourself but God always held you to a higher standard this is why the the punishment that these people are going to receive is not going to be on your time when you want to see it but trust and believe that when they go through these struggles like God was was working miracles in your life and still was holding you and protecting you they're not going to have that protection because what they did could have took you out what they did that you could have got you down so bad to the point of no return, you was never going to be able to crack back and bounce back mentally. You understand what I'm saying? Because of how people kept messing with you. It's like, I'm about to tell you something real. You only get rejected. You only get overlooked and neglected and betrayed and ostracized and criticized and alienated and outcasted by people who are not meant to be in your life. You hurt yourself by trying to plant yourself around these people and, and around people who do not care for you, around people who do not consider you on their level. And let me tell you something. You have to understand that when people are marked different, you're marked, they're marked. You can't get rid of this spiritual marking that God has given you because this means he has a greater purpose for your life. So you're always going to step. It's like no matter how you try to go and run from it, no matter how many times you try to say, God, I can't do it. I'm not you. I can't deal with this isolation. I can't, I can't deal with this. Like I'm only human. God knows that you're only human, but he knows that you're strong enough to get through it. You understand what I'm saying? And so it's like these people are different. This is why they don't think because see, let me tell you something. Somebody was marked the same as them. They would perceive this person to be on the level because you have a different marking. You have a different anointing. You have a different favor over your life. You have to understand why you went through these things. You have to understand why these people hated you so bad. And in understanding is in knowing that you're destined for greatness. And this is why God's saying those successes I bring your way is going to be greater than those struggles. I can't make up for what it is that, that these people took you through. But what I can do is shut them up. What I can do is move you up. What I can do is bless you up. But I can't make up for what happened. You got to heal from that. You got to take the time to really heal from that. And while you're doing that, I'm going to bring these blessings and these miracles your way times 10. 
I'm a level set with you and I'm gonna tell you something. You know what I'm saying? Like the punishment that these people are about to get, man, they about to get it for messing with you. They really gonna get it for messing with you and they're gonna understand in that moment that when you're no longer there, this is, this is what I say about when God is bringing this spiritual, like this, when God is taking you through a spiritual transformation a phase of your life, you're gonna be moving different, talking different. There are gonna be people who are not gonna be able to understand and accept who you currently are because of where you've been and who you used to be. These are people, again, that don't need to be in your life. You, you can't get hurt or by it and downtrodden to the point where you don't want to be on this journey no more. And I know sometimes, and I'm going to get to it, I know sometimes, you know, life can be so hard. It can make you feel like you can't go through it. But see, let me tell you something. If Jesus went through it, you can get through it. If Jesus went through it, you can get through it. This punishment... It's going to be something that they're going to have to bear and deal with. Because, see, there are a lot of people who faked like they loved you. They faked that they was your friend. They faked like they cared enough to the point where they would never betray you, but did. Be grateful that God exposed these people to you. Because they were never meant to be in your life. They cannot come back into your life. They cannot be a part of your life. But he's still going to deal with them for what they took you through and what they did to you. And when they go through it, this is how I'm, this, this is what I'm saying about people knowing what they did, that mess that they did. They're going to know that when they go through it, they're going to know why. Trust and believe they're going to know when it, when it hit them back. I don't care if it's area in areas of love and in, in areas of finances and whatever area that it is that, that this is going to hit them. When it hits them, they're going to know why it's hitting them. Because they're going to know what they did to you, what they did to others. And they're going to have to be in a position where they're going to have to accept it. But it, hopefully it takes these people on a new journey of their life where they start healing themselves. But as for you, God didn't need you to waste no more time with these people. He didn't need you to waste no more time crying and being hurt over these situations. Because he's saying that those these successes is going to be so greater. They're going to be greater than those struggles that you went through. Greater than those struggles that love took you through, that life took you through, that not having money took you through, not being able to pay your bills took you through, not being able to have your car, get your car paid to get your car at the shop took you through. It's, 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 it's going to be greater. He's going to make up for it. He's taking you off the shelf. Your enemies wanted you there on the shelf. They wanted to be able to come and maneuver as they wanted to. They wanted to be able to have your blessings, have your life, and they wanted you on the shelf because they knew you was competition. By you being on the shelf, you ain't in the field. You ain't on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Working and showing people what it is that you're capable of. I'm saying something. To those who are on this level, to those who's on this journey, it's going to make sense what I'm saying. They wanted you on the shelf. And they put you like way in the back so nobody could see you and pass by because of your beauty, your beauty, your intelligence. People know who you are. They needed you in the back. These are weak-minded individuals, let me tell you. They are very insecure. These people who did you are weak and they insecure. These people not only wanted you in the shelf, they wanted you in the back. You know them products that people be trying to hide in the back because you know they want to come back and be able to, you know what I'm saying? They got you all the way in the back. They don't want nobody to see you. Because they know if somebody see you, they already know what time it is. They got to put your blessings and your miracles on back order. They don't want you to step into it. They don't want you to get it when you were supposed to step into it. They didn't want you to receive it when God wanted you to receive it. Some didn't want you to receive it at all. But watch what he do. You see what he doing? It's a pinball effect. God said, don't look at it. Look at Take the positive out of it. For as long back as they stretched you, for as long as they had you delayed, for as long as they was watching you struggle, for as long as you went without, that's just as long that you about to have great success in your life, great abundance in your life, love in your life, peace in your life, happiness in your life. And they're going to sit and they're going to watch it and they're going to be on the shelf while they're going through this punishment. They should have never did it. You didn't deserve it. There are a lot of things, like I said, I'm not perfect. Um, I needed a couple days. You know, y'all was reaching out to me like, what's going on with me? I needed a couple days. I was going through some things. Sometimes, you know, like I say, you'd be a detriment to yourself. You know, 
you be trying to see the good in people. You really try. You really try. And I I had to tell God, and I'm going to say it again. I'm thankful and I'm grateful, God. I'm thankful and I'm grateful. I had to apologize last night to him. I, I said some things that I didn't mean because, you know, when you're hurting and you're trying to figure out why you in a world full of people who are cruel, why you in a world full of people who take your kindness for weakness, why you in a world full of people who want to be so judgmental, you know what I'm saying, so nosy, like just to be able to gossip. I, when you realize how different you are, you, you try to figure out what's your purpose in this world and what's the purpose for going through all this pain and these struggles. You understand what I'm saying? There are a lot of people who, like I said, I had to step back because there are a lot of people who will look at me and I was going through a period in time in my life where I'm like, God, I'm tired of people always having this and asking me for this and doing this and doing this and ask like, oh, can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? Can you asking me, asking, asking, asking. But it's like when I really need people, I don't have nobody there. How I'm being there for you, it, it really takes something for me to come on here and tell you this. I'm, I'm so real. This is why I say my channel is a safe haven. For people who going through things, man, this ain't about no views. This ain't about no no subs. This ain't about the the the, the level of recognition I've been getting. It, getting who I've been getting it from, cause we all human. What I speak on here is on that real, not on that fake. I mean that. I don't come on here. And listen, yes, this is a positive message today, but y'all know when it's time for me to tell y'all and give y'all what I come on here and I say that too. This is this is one of those messages, man. Where I'm saying, like, it gets hard. And sometimes, you know, people people will look at you and they think you got it all, that they got it all figured out because you're not going through the same struggles as them. But let me tell you something. <clears throat> Y'all look at me and say, girl, you've been blessed. But you don't see the inside of my unhappiness. And then I swear it gets heavy like a ton. That's why you hear me shooting this. <laughs> I used to wonder how the next friends would treat me now. That I wear nice stuff. I got a Bentley in the house. You know, I used to I used to be like, why every friend I had in my life, man, why why am I going through this, God? I got down on my knees and I cried and I, I cried and I said I can't take it no more. I can't take this no more. I really, I really broke down a couple days ago, man, because it's like y'all look at me and y'all talking about this money. Everybody asking me for money. Everybody asking me for this. And it's like God has really been the only one who made sure that I stepped into these blessings. Like I would not have been here. And so, yes, I do try to give back to people because I know where my blessings came from. I know I ain't catching the bus no more. It's because of God. I know I ain't staying in it. I could be proud of my, where I'm staying. Like it's, it's clean. I ain't never had nothing like this because of God. The success I'm having on my career is God. These people recognizing me for who I am is God. This is anointing and this favor I have on my life, even though I'm not perfect, is God. So, yes, I try to give back to other people, but I, no, 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 no. I was down really bad. I was down really bad. I got disrespected very bad. And I had to cry out to him. And I said some things I didn't mean. I did. I said some things I didn't mean. I had to go, I had to go back and I had to take it back and I say, I'm thankful and I'm grateful. So I'm talking to my people. I'm resonating with you. You understand me? I'm just like you. I understand how hard that thing is. When Even when God bless you and people feel like, oh, you ain't got a care in the world. You ain't got a struggle in the world. Y'all look at me and say, girl, you've been blessed. But you don't see the inside. You don't see the inside of my unhappiness. That's why I lean on God when it gets hard for me. But he has to tell me, how do you expect people to respect you when these people are not meant to be in your life? And I would never let them be a part of your life. You are hurting yourself at this point. Because I'm not going to allow them to hurt you. That's why it ain't going to work. That's why they're never going to see you. That's why they ain't going to never be able to give you what it is. Because I'm not going to let them give that to you knowing that I got better for you. So I'm talking to somebody. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to be what you want it to be because God got better for you. The second that you realize that and you sit and you let him do what it is that he needs to do. I'm trying to tell you something. You already done cut the cord. So it, it, can, people can't hold you back no more. People can't delay you no more. The only person who can mess this up right now is you. And I don't want you to mess it up. 
That's why I say whenever you feel, you understand know me, that it's too much. When I went through what I went through, I took a long shower. Mind you, I ain't let nobody know where I was. You know what I'm saying? I ain't let nobody know what I was doing. So at that time, you know, all I had at that point who I could talk to, the only person I really had was God. And so I was talking and I went and I had to pull myself to get up off that floor. And I was taking a shower. When I was taking a shower, the song came to me. Um, Count on me through thick and thin A friendship that will never end When you are weak, I will be strong Helping you to carry on Call on me, I will be there Don't be afraid Please believe me when I say Count on, you can count on me. And I broke down in tears because I knew that was God in that moment trying to um, trying to let me know I wasn't alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, I haven't listened to CeCe Wine and, and Whitney in a minute. I don't even listen to that music no more. And I got to stop listening to music. I have not been listening to that music. So for me to be in that shower for as long as I was, um, like I said, I had a decked out suite. I was in there. My plans didn't go the way that I had wanted it to go. And so I was sitting in the shower because they had a little thing for me to sit or whatever. And I wasn't even crying. Mind you, I was just trying to pull myself together so I don't think nothing crazy. And I just ended up getting myself together. And it was like, Count on me through thick and thin A friendship that will never end God has always been your friend. God has always been that person fighting for you. You understand me? This is a friendship that is, has been built on a firm foundation. This is a friendship that's going to stand the test of time. This is a friendship that ain't going to waver. This is a friendship that ain't no, it ain't, it's not going to flake on you. He ain't going to turn his back on you. He ain't no fluke. He ain't going to sit up here and be two-faced it. This is a friendship that's never going to end. That man going to always be your friend, the most high. God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son. It's two different two different people. You can't put them all up in the same category. You got God the Father and you got Jesus Christ the Son. They're letting you know that they're your friends. They're letting you know that they will always be there for you. They watch over you. They want the best for you. Who am I speaking to? Stop hurting yourself. And understand what I'm trying to tell you that these successes, be thankful and grateful because it's people sleeping in tents right now. I had to take back what I was saying. I really did. And I'm saying it again. Thank you, God. I'm thankful and I'm grateful, God, because there's people out there that are sleeping on tents, sleeping in tents. There are people who, who, who are trying to get in shelters. Shelters is filling up. Shel there are people who are not eating. There are people who, who, who want a career like you. There are people who, who want to be able to have a livelihood. Your li there are people who want what you want. But there are also evil people who saw and wanted what you wanted and they were trying to prevent it. And God is saying, listen, it's the pinball effect. Because I'm about to go ahead and thrust you and you're going to get these blessings and you're going to get these miracles. Everything that people trying to deny you, deprive you of, say that you wasn't worthy of. They still got to sit back and watch you go ahead and run it up. God said, you're going to run it up because I'm going to boss you up, because I'm going to move you up, because I'm going to bless you up. But I understand why you're hurting. I understand why you feel alone. I know sometimes life makes you feel it's much harder than it really is. I know sometimes life makes you feel it's much harder than it really is. But JC Game, you'll get through it. Just 
don't give in cause you can count on him he will be there a friendship that will never end when you are weak he will be strong helping you to carry on all you gotta do is call on him he will be there don't be afraid please believe me when i say just count on you can count on him so i want you to know that at the end of the day it gets better and in understanding what God has for you and the path that he has you on, you have to fight. You have to fight for your peace of mind. You have to fight for your happiness. No one is going to give it to you. And the wrong people are for sure not going to give it to you. If God does not intend for these people to reap the rewards and the blessings and the miracles that he is bringing your way, he does not want these people to be a part of your life. You have to wake up and stop hurting yourself. You have to wake up and understand that he loves you, that he cares for you, and that you can always count on him. And this is why he's saying these people will no longer have an effect over what it is that I'm bringing your way. I allowed them to have things and do things for as long as they did so you will learn lessons in that period. You understand what I'm saying? It, 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 at the end of the day, it wasn't a, 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 a easy phase for you to go through, but it was a necessary one. Because you learned from it, you grew stronger. And there's only good that's coming your way. Because God is saying that these successes are going to be greater than those struggles that you went through. No more the days of you sleeping in your car. No more the days of you being deprived of you going without. You are never going to know what those days feel like ever again. You had your fair share and these people about to have their fair share of what it is that they were trying to do to you. Because they were wrong to try to place the, or the, the blessings and, and the miracles that God was trying to perform in your life. They were wrong for trying to hold this back from you. They were wrong for not wanting you to step into it. But let me tell you something. That's the world that we live in. But the God that we serve is an awesome God. And this is why he's, he's telling you, you can count on him. It's a friendship that it will never end, no matter what you do, no matter the wrongs you do, no matter how many times you backslide. No